So at the debate in Flint between Hillary and Bernie, someone at CNN uh, gave Hillary the questions in advance so she would know what the questions are. So here you have— Donna Brazil, right? Donna Brazil. Here you have these—there these, was a group of mothers at the microphone in Whiting Auditorium in Flint to ask Hillary and Bernie about the water situation. And um, not knowing that Hillary already knew they were going to ask this question or two, Bernie didn't know. Hillary knew. A month later, when it was revealed that Hillary had their questions before they asked them, the women at that microphone went on TV. They said they felt like they were used like props by the Democrats, by, by the Hillary campaign. And it was so offensive, again, uh, to the community, to the larger community, but also to, especially to the black community in Flint, that that is just just more of the same. Works well, of course they take us for granted. We're going to vote for the Democrat. Now we're used as props in a nationwide debate where it was rigged, where the, one of the candidates knew the questions to a town and to a group of people who have been so abused and suffered for decades now and now have been put through a poisoning where all children under the age of six, um, because if you drink lead at that age, you have permanent lifetime brain damage. There's no medicine. There's no cure. There's nothing, nothing that could be done to help them. All of these women and these, these parents' children have been poisoned. And to be treated that way by the Hillary campaign, I know some people watch this and go, well, yes, but you had to vote, you had to vote, you had to stop Trump. There comes a time when the boot has been on your neck for so long, you can't breathe, and you have decided, I'm tapping out. I'm out. I'm not voting for any of these people anymore. And, um, and that's what happened, and not just in Flint, but in Detroit, in Milwaukee, in Wisconsin. In Philly, in Pennsylvania, the whole press has got this wrong about the reason we lost these three states that gave Trump the victory was because we lost Lunch Bucket Joe, you know, the, the old angry white guy, you know, working class. And it's all—it starts right there. It's the lie is by calling that the working class. And then we, we're supposed to imagine, yeah, I watched the Monday Night Football last night. That's what, we, that's what working class is. The, that's a lie. The majority of the working class in this country are women. The majority are of color, and, the, and they are young. The young 18 to 35 are paid the least amount of money of any age group. The uh, women are still paid much less than men. And of course, if you're of color, you know, you already know this. You've been on the bottom of the economic ladder forever. So none of this should be a surprise. But when you hear working class from now on, I beg people. The image I want in your head is not, you know, the angry factory guy coming out of work. I want you to think that it's a 35-year-old black woman. That is the average working class person uh, in this country. It is a person of color. It is a woman. Uh, and it, that person is young. And, and these are—that is the base. That is the way to win the election. But they aren't going to go for it anymore if you're just the same old, same old. You know, how could Trump get 53 percent of the white female vote? I mean, that's only because enough of poorer other white voters, women, just said, it's, this isn't for me. This, I, this doesn't affect my life. The largest party in America is the non-voter party. It's over 100 million strong. And all we need are a few million of them to have a sense that, you know what, this candidate is going to fight for me. This candidate is not going to sell out. Look at all that. Oh, look at all the Democrats on that stage. And let me tell you, there's something, I can say something good about every one of them. But tell me, tell me the one, point out the one who will never sell out, who will never cave in, who will fight all the way. I think that's Bernie.